And now I hope you have a meaningful time together and let us begin the 2021 KAIS AI Symposium. First, we have a very special video from President Yi Guanghyong at KAIS. He will deliver his opening speech. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him on screen. Hello, everyone. Thank you to our distinguished speakers and participants for joining us today. I would like to thank Dongwon Group Chairman Jechal Kim, who sponsored this symposium. It's a visionary idea for AI technology and generous donation led to the creation of Kim Jechal Graduate School of AI and AI Research at KAIST. This is the inaugural symposium to honor the opening of the AI Institute at KAIST. I would like to congratulate to thank Director Seo Gyeong Yu for the AI, AI Institute, Director Daeshi Kim of the Post AI Institute, and Director Kim So Young of the Korea Policy Center for Post Re uh, Industrial Revolution and teams for ma making this event possible. Thank you all once again. This symposium will reflect on responsible practices regarding AI and its responsible development for our future. This also provides a valuable opportunity to envision a new post-AI future. AI is making an impact on every industry and every human being. It has acted as the main driver of emerging technologies and will continue to act as a technological innovator for the future. And the future is already here. Along with the phenomenal growth of AI, concerns over the socio-economic risks, biased algorithms, privacy, and ethical issues are growing. Advanced nations and leading global companies are doubling down on way to use AI responsibility. Researchers, researchers and policymakers are working to make transparent and fair applications for AI technologies. There is a saying, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Seek out advancing technologies to foster inclusive growth in the global communities will be the new mission ahead of us. I look forward to the dynamic discussions and deep insights from the distinguished speakers inspiring us to brace for a future where we will give together with the new technologies. Thank you once again. Thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, please give another big round of applause. Thank you very much, President, for your insightful message. As I mentioned, we can make and imagine everything that we need with the AI technology. So I'm looking forward to the presentations and discussions by the speakers today. Thank you very much. And now we have a welcome speech from Chairman Kim De Chol of Dongwon Group for his congratulatory speech. Uh, today, the Vice Chairman Park In Gu will lead a congratulatory speech. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice Chairman Park In Gu to the podium. I am pleased to give opening remarks to the AI Symposium hosted by KAIST on behalf of Jechal Kim, Honorary Chairman of Dongwon Group and Chairman of Dongwon Education Foundation. More than any point in time, we are surrounded by new science and technology in all aspects of our lives. 
competition among in countries is getting fiercer. And nowadays, the development of science and technology is directly linked to the country's power. A company's competitiveness and survival depends on whether it adopts new technology. In particular, with AI technology touching all parts of our society, including industrial business, education, health, medicine, and military. It is no longer an option. It's a prerequisite for countries' survival. Against this background, I believe KAIST has chosen a very timely topic for today's symposium, AI and the future society. Also, the topics that will be discussed today are essential challenges that we must deal with for the future development of AI. No matter how much convenience AI brings to humans, we must ensure that data is not biased and that technology based on such data is fair. Also, AI must have ethics that does not damage humanism. Moreover, AI must be used as a tool of wisdom to foresee and prepare against the Earth sustainability. In addition, through cooperation among countries and industries, we must work to not create an AI divide. Dongwon Education Foundation was established in 1979. Since then, the foundation has provided scholarships to over 9,000 students to contribute in fostering talents for the in industrialization of Korea. Although Korea has a latecomer in industrialization, for us to lead informatization and for AI to be implemented and readily applied to our industries, we believed that fostering AI talent is an urgent task. As such, Dongwon Education Foundation made a donation commitment with KAIST in December 2020. And we have continued our donation since then. Today's symposium is also being held with KAIST and the foundation's objective of further developing of AI to foster international talent. Historically, mankind has developed by dominating the ocean. Now, it will develop through AI that sails the ocean of data. I hope that today's AI symposium will contribute to creating a better world through AI. Lastly, I'd like to thank Professor Russell for his keynote speech and for his continued insight in AI. I also would like to extend my appreciation to the chairs and the panelists of the four sessions for their efforts. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please give another big hand. Thank you so much for your insightful speech, Vice Chairman.